Good afternoon, JCPS, and I hope you uh, had a good week this week. I know it was the first week off for students and many of our staff uh, concluded their work uh, in the classroom and with professional development on Monday. Um, but I am uh, taping here today uh, from our Deeper Learning Symposium, our second annual Deeper Learning Symposium, where over 2,000 educators have convened down here this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, to improve what they do as teachers and educators, um, uh, pr get professional development, and, and really find out ways better to engage students. So um, it's been inspirational to see how many teachers and educators um, have come after one day off for the summer, um, have come back for three consecutive days of uh, professional development um, here at the Fair and Exposition Center. Uh, just great work. Uh, I'm in a, a long line of great speakers who have come to speak to the teachers at JCPS. Uh, had the chance to meet Pedro Naguero uh, this weekend, or excuse me, this week, uh, one of the main speakers. Um, and it's just great to see how many of our teachers are committed to their craft by taking one day off and then coming back for three consecutive days um, to increase their learning and efficacy around teaching. So um, excellent three days of professional development here at the Deeper Learning Symposium around providing authentic experiences for children, better engagement, and really kicking off our uh, backpack of skills work that we will be starting next August with every student in this district. Uh, we had our uh, last principal meeting of the year on Tuesday and we really uh, did not have the opportunity in past years um, where it was a lighter meeting, it was a full day experience for all of our principals uh, where they really rolled up their sleeves and began the planning for next year and really around what it means to be transition ready for all students in literacy and numeracy, um, what they're going to do uh, to ensure that we track every student's progress and growth um, and ensure that students have what they need to be successful next year. This will be with all 100,000 students in this district. Um, so I commend the principals for uh, the day after we finished with our staff members and, and teachers and uh, working with them at the school level, coming together as a group and really digging into the work and making sure we get better and, and planning and preparing um, for the start of next year and we have no time to waste and we are working hard really to to get that work ready and to ensure every student is transition ready in JCPS. Yesterday uh, it was an honor for me uh, to be at Central High School again but this time uh, to honor the champ Muhammad Ali uh, with the Leroy Neiman Art Studio and um, the Muhammad Ali Center helped uh, convert the art studio at Central High School um, into a fabulous art a studio and a monument uh, to both Leroy Neiman and Muhammad Ali and it was an honor for me uh, to meet the champ's wife uh, Lonnie Ali. Um, I was uh, surprised and honored to have that chance to meet her um, and to hear her support for, for Jefferson County Public Schools Central High School and all of our students and the work that that we are doing. Uh, so another great program at Central High School as they continue to move forward um, and work hard. Last night um, I celebrated with our uh, Academies of Louisville business partners at our year-end celebration. Earlier this week, uh, the Academies of Louisville initiative was highlighted on CNBC. So another great honor for JCPS and positive news um, through the work of engaging every high school student in JCPS in a pathway and really having an academy partners, business partners that work with our students, both in the school and at the business. So thanks to all of our business partners for their work. Uh, great celebration of the progress we've made with the Academies of Louisville. We'll continue to move forward next year. We're gonna have 14 schools signed on to the Academies of Louisville initiative. Um, and it's really what we need to do to make sure that every student in JCPS is both college and career ready. And finally this week, I celebrated the retirement um, of JCPS employees at the annual retirement dinner. I just want to take this opportunity uh, as we conclude the year to thank all of our retirees for the years of service they have provided to JCPS. They have meant the difference in thousands of students' lives uh, throughout this community and can't thank you enough for your service to Jefferson County Public Schools over the years. As this will be the last uh, weekly wrap up we will do uh, until mid-July, I wanna thank everybody uh, for following along this year. This has been a new experience for us doing this every Friday and trying to commun communicate better our mission and vision and what we're doing and uh, with all of our stakeholders. Uh, so thank you for following along. We look forward to get, getting back into it again um, as we get closer to the year, probably mid to late July, we'll start back up.
Thank you. Have a great summer.